Little Miss Wasteless Little Miss Wasteless did not, as her name would suggest, like waste. She was not wasteful. For instance, she repaired the holes in her socks. She did not throw them away. She reused her carrier bags for her shopping. She didn't buy more than she needed, and she collected rainwater to water her garden. Her motto was, Waste not, want not. In this way, Little Miss Wasteless cared for the planet. This was because when she looked at the world around her, it gave her pause for thought. Walking on the beach, she saw rubbish washed up on the shore. Look at it all, cried Mr. Worry. Plastic cups and plastic bags and plastic bottles. So much plastic. Where will it end? Mr. Worry was worried. You're right, Mr. Worry, agreed Little Miss Wasteless. Too much waste. We need to waste less. The next day, Little Miss Wasteless went round to Mr. Forgetful's house for tea. Mr. Forgetful had forgotten where he had put the tea, so Little Miss Wasteless helped him hunt through his cupboards, but every cupboard she opened was filled with plastic carrier bags. Why do you have so many plastic bags? asked Little Miss Wasteless. You should reuse them. I would, said Mr. Forgetful sadly, but I always forget to take them with me when I go shopping. The next morning, Little Miss Wasteless was walking past Little Miss Scatterbrain's house when what she saw stopped her in her tracks. There was a mountain of rubbish outside Little Miss Scatterbrain's back door. I think I need some help with all this rubbish, said Little Miss Scatterbrain, frowning. I can't work out what I can recycle and what I can't. You certainly do need some help, said Little Miss Wasteless. Come on, I'll give you a hand. And she and Little Miss Scatterbrain took all the plastic and bottles and cardboard up to Little Miss Inventor's recycling machine. While she was there, she noticed Mr. Fussy unloading empty plastic bottle after empty plastic bottle. Mr. Fussy got through an awful lot of laundry liquid. He was, as you would imagine, very fussy about keeping things clean. He washed his sheets every day. He washed his bath towel every day. He washed his tea towels every day. He washed his handkerchief every day. He even washed his shoelaces every day. Mr. Fussy's washing machine never stopped. That's a lot of plastic bottles, remarked Little Miss Wasteless to Little Miss Inventor as Mr. Fussy loaded them into the recycling machine. It does seem a bit crazy, said Little Miss Inventor. We are recycling old bottles to make new bottles when we already had a bottle in the first place. Little Miss Inventor's words kept running through Little Miss Wasteless's head as she had supper that evening. Suddenly, As she was refilling her glass, she had an idea, a rather ingenious idea, and the very next day she put her idea into action. She opened a shop where everyone could come and refill any of their empty bottles. When Mr. Fussy ran out of laundry liquid, he could go and fill up his old bottle at Little Miss Wasteless' shop. No need to buy a new one, no need to recycle an old one. Mr. Fussy was a very good customer. Although, Little Miss Wasteless did have a word with him about how much washing he really needed to do. That was a very clever idea, said Mr. Clever, and it was. Little Miss Sunshine refilled her hand soap. Mr. Calm refilled his washing up liquid. Little Miss Tidy refilled her surface cleaner. And Little Miss Whoops spilled her floor cleaner. Whoops! But there were some people who couldn't get to Little Miss Wasteless shop. It was a very long walk to the shop for Little Miss Tiny's tiny legs. Little Miss Shy didn't get out much, and Mr. Lazy never got out, out of bed, that is. So Little Miss Wasteless expanded her idea. She asked Little Miss Inventor to invent a refilling delivery bike. Everyone could now order home refills by phone or on the internet. Not that Little Miss Wasteless visited Mr. Lazy very often. As you might imagine, he didn't use very much washing up liquid. But it was perfect for Mr. Forgetful. He no longer had to worry about remembering carrier bags when he went shopping. And little Miss Scatterbrain had less to worry about when it came to sorting out her recycling. It was all a terrific success. Everyone was reusing and refilling everything. However, not everyone quite got the idea. Yesterday, the phone rang in little Miss Wasteless' shop. I hear I can order a refill, said Mr. Greedy. Certainly, said little Miss Wasteless. What would you like to refill? I'd like, said Mr. Greedy, to refill my fridge.